So the short answer to that question is yes. AML can relapse late, and the, the definition of late relapse is, uh, is actually arbitrary. It can be relapse after three to five years. There is no certain uh, uh, definition of it. And we know uh, the late relapse in AML is rare. According to the previously published studies, it's two to three percent of uh, AML patients relapse late. On the other hand, the early relapse is much, is much more common. Uh, we know that the clonal evolution patterns in early relapse AML is either the founding clone acquiring additional mutation at relapse or the subclone of the founding clone gaining additional mutation and expanded at the time of relapse. But in late relapsing AML, we do not know if it follows the same clonal evolution pattern or this is secondary AML originating from the exposure to cytotoxic chemotherapy or uh, this is a totally new disease. So uh, in order to answer some of these questions, we identified approximately 2,000 AML patients at MD Anderson. These patients received intensive chemotherapy between 1990 and 2010. And uh, these approximately 60% of those responded to chemotherapy. And we followed all these patients at least five years. In total, approximately uh, 700 of those relapsed and in them, 15 were late relapse. Only 15 patients relapsed five years, uh, after five years of remission. So what we did, we uh, performed a whole exome sequencing in the bone marrow samples at the time of diagnosis, remission, and, uh, and in, in first relapse. In total, we found these uh, bone marrow samples in about 10 patients. So uh, the whole exome sequencing in overall 10 patients, we uh, identified 43 driver mutations. 12 of those were primary specific, which means that it was present only uh, at the time of diagnosis. And 18 were relapse specific, which means that they weren't present at diagnosis, but only detected at the time of relapse. And 13 mutations were shared. Uh, they were uh, present both at the diagnosis and the remission. So the whole exome sequencing in 10 primary relapse tumor pairs showed that in eight cases, the founding clone persists after chemotherapy and it is detected at the time of relapse. And in all patients, we uh, detected new uh, molecular abnormalities at the time of relapse. So what we learned from this uh, 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 study, late relapse is rare, it's very uncommon, most importantly, longitudinal genomic characterization in late relapse AML showed that the founding leukemic clone persists after chemotherapy and it establishes the basis of relapse years later.